Hey Bell Tribe, welcome back to my channel guys. It's Roshunda here and welcome if you are new. And if you are new, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you do not miss a video. So in one of my last videos, I asked if you guys would like to see me make or see how I make my um, Alfredo sauce and I got a, some responses back. So here I am today and we're going to do it. Um, I think it's pretty simple, quick and easy and it tastes really good. So what I'm gonna do now is continue to get my ingredients together. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're gonna start off with chop, chopping our garlic. This is one packet of pre um, peeled garlic. There are about two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 garlic cloves in here. And yes, I'm using it all. about like that okay so now that we have our garlic chopped I'm gonna turn my stove on I don't know why I didn't have it on already and we're gonna toss this amount of butter in here I try to use as little butter as possible because if you didn't know this is butter just in a different form. Okay, so now that I have the butter in there, I'm gonna go ahead and put all this garlic inside with the butter. Let that saute a little bit and melt the butter. Just get the flavors blended together. Okay, so while that is doing its thing, I'm gonna grate some fresh Parmesan cheese. And I'm gonna do about three quarters of a cup. Now keep in mind that fresh Parmesan, Parmesan cheese is a little bit salty. So you might wanna taste and then season, actually not season, but actually salt your, your um, sauce afterwards. Okay, so now that we've kind of toasted our garlic and butter a little bit, you can actually smell it, it smells really good. We're gonna go ahead and add three cups of 40% heavy whipping cream. Okay, so after that is done, I like to add my seasonings. So 
Here I have some seasoned black pepper. Throw that right in there. A pinch of nutmeg. And I also like to add some smoked paprika. And we're gonna let this simmer and um, let all the seasonings and flavors combine. And we're gonna bring it up to a slight like boil. Then we're going to turn off the heat and add the cheese. Make sure your heat is up, and you have to pay close attention to this because if you walk away, this will boil over. Okay, so when it starts to look like this, at this point, we wanna turn off the heat. Now we turn off the heat. And we throw in our cheese. And you just stir and stir until all the cheese is combined and melted. It smells so good. And I also like a lemon flavor in my Alfredo sauce and I like pepper in it, so I'm gonna add a teaspoon of lemon pepper. Okay, now the sauce is all done. It smells really good, it has thickened up. And I'm going to uh, have this little gravy boat here I'm gonna pour it into the gravy boat so that it can cool. Or not so that it can cool, so it's easier for me to pour into my little glass containers here. So you just pour it in there like that. And, mm, that's so good. You can just set it aside until you're ready to use it. I use, you can use Alfredo sauce or anything. I'll bake some chicken, put it on top of chicken and rice. Um, you can use it for, for a pizza sauce. You can put it with shrimp like say you have a surf and turf and you cook some shrimp and steak you can put your your shrimp on top top of your steak and then put a little bit of this alfredo sauce on there you don't have to just eat it with fettuccine noodles or pasta you can use it in different ways and that's what i like to do so here is 
my homemade alfredo sauce if you enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to give my channel a thumbs up and like and share this recipe um yeah thank you so much for watching i feel the vibe subscribe and join the tribe until next time <laughs>